There are some things in life that are out of your control that you can't change and you've got to live with. The choice that we have though is either to give up or keep on going. But unless you know three things, number one, who are you and what your value is? Number two, what is your purpose here in life? And number three, what is your destiny when you're done here? There's unlimited opportunity. Nobody cares where you started. Nobody's stopping you. There's nobody that's gotta take your resume. There's no grades that matter, none of it. What matters is, are you willing to hustle? And how bad do you want it? And are you willing to live a life where you're not letting other people judge you? So then you're not pandering to it. Sitting and worrying about it and sitting around and contemplating it isn't gonna get it done. And the only people that are willing to listen to you to complain are other people that are losing. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. Now some people lead such mediocre lives at the end of the day, they don't know whether they're winning or losing. They got no clue. Guy's just going through the day with his fingers crossed. Many people work hard on their job, but they don't work hard on their future. But here's what I know. That that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. Your dream is possible. As you hold on to that dream, there are moments when you're going to doubt yourself. There are rough times that are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. You are going to incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. It's also necessary that you look for ways to always find a way to pull it out when everybody else thinks that you are defeated. That you've got to take personal responsibility to know that in order to become successful, you've got to make it your personal business. That a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation. But if you want to produce unreasonable results in your life, like living your dream and taking charge of your destiny, you've got to be an unreasonable person. You've got to be an uncommon person. Don't stop running towards your dream. But the next thing, ladies and gentlemen, I want to share with you that some of you already know that it's hard. It's not easy. I'm convinced that you were born to win. But not to be the winner you were born to be, you gotta plan to win, you gotta prepare to win, and you got to expect to win. Let me tell you what positive thinking will do. Positive thinking will permit you to use the qualities which you have. And when you use the qualities which you have, my friend, you can get the things in life that you really want. See, we all grow from two experiences. One is called the pain of losing. The other one is called the joy of winning. Your better future is a dream for yourself and for your family. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? What do you want to be? What do you want to see? You've got to dream dreams. There's a Bible phrase that says, without dreams and visions, people perish. 
Now's the time to fix it.